tonight at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Michael Cole with Taz here, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's always great to be back in Philly. No doubt about that, Cole. You know, I got a little bit of history in this town. You know what I'm saying? The city of brotherly love might have been the hometown of ECW, but I think the SmackDown superstars are going to redefine extreme here tonight. And there's the counter, Cole. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, that's when they got you as an announcer. I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, right? You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. One. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are better than these superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. There sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. Whoa! I think, oh my, he's taking his opponent for a very uncomfortable ride here. Yeah, he's like one of those, uh, one of those, one of those, those two cowboys in that movie that you like so much. That was a call, I can't remember. Here's a move that'll have you sing at soprano afterward. And that ring rope is even less forgiving than it looks, folks. This is not a position you want to find yourself in. This is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. And there's the reversal. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Carl. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. But what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. It looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A tombstone pile driver. It sounds like this capacity crowd is something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of pain. There's the cover. Can he do it? Nice reversal. Hey, 
the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. And you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in the match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well, then that's just the way the cookie crumbles. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. Come on, Cole. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic, but you can't seriously sit there and say that there's anyone on the Raw roster you'd want to have here on SmackDown. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Look at this. You don't often see a superstar's own finishing move used against them like this. The thing you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your... He's got him covered! One, two, three! Here's your winner! The Undertaker!